Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and today is Christmas Eve. So I'm going to take you along with me on how I'm spending Christmas and Christmas Eve here in Bahrain. And a little disclaimer, I'm sorry if the audio and video aren't like normal. Unfortunately, I left my SD card for my regular vlogging camera at home. So this first part is going to be on my phone. Our first stop for Christmas Eve is with our friends Katie. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. And we are going to Gold City to pick up a couple pieces that we ordered and check out the gold. It's 9.20 a.m. and unfortunately it doesn't open until 9.30. So we are going to grab some tea. Right across the street, luckily there's something open right there. Katie and I are stopping at Mango Cafeteria right across from Gold City and we are getting some karat tea. Cheers. Cheers! It's open now, we have our tea, and we are ready to shop. Escalator's not open yet, and this is actually the down one, but we want to go right there, so this is the, the easiest way. Katie is happy because they are open at 9.30 sharp, as promised. So Katie picked up some hoop earrings, a chain necklace. What else did you get, Katie? A chain bracelet. I got this last time. And she got this really pretty bracelet last time. Oh, that's perfect. It looks so good with your other necklace. One hour later, we left our favorites, bright light jewelry with some new gold pieces. We actually decided on a couple more, so we need to check out the suit place and wait until our jewelry is adjusted, and then we'll be back. Katie, how was that trip? I spent more money again. The issue is that we like the same thing, so we're bad influences on each other. I also ordered a ring last time I was here from from Evershine. I got this adorable pinky ring with different color gold on it. Mijan helped me out a lot for two dinar. He washed my entire rental car. Unfortunately, I got a little ticket and I need to pay it, but I, I skimmed part of a wall right here and there were blue marks and he scrubbed it all off so he is my little Christmas miracle today we are actually going to leave this parking ticket here a little bit longer because we have another errand to run our next stop for Christmas Eve is the Manama Souk and this right here is the Bab Al Bahrain part in my suit video, if you haven't watched it, I'll make sure to link it. We were wondering what these egg-like structures were. And, and we're still wondering. Katie, what was your initial guess? I thought it would have been like a little kiosk situation, but I'm still guessing because it hasn't changed. This one has artwork outside of it, which is really beautiful. So we decided to finally ask someone and they said it is a kiosk, so Katie was right. And they have these markets every Saturday. The souk is so calm right now and I love the gorgeous Bahraini colors that are still up from National Bahrain Day. Everyone is picking up after the morning prayer. And the weather right now is absolutely fabulous. Just like us. <laughs> we love it after surviving the heat of the summer. We decided to stop at our favorite suit tailors. I got this jacket in my suit video. I'm just getting it taken in a little bit so it fits a little bit better. Santa. I'm that's like, too long. Katie so is this ordering is, I'm not actually wearing a this to anything this suit easy. with but like, this I'm pink I'm color. For the holiday spirit, they also have these super fun Christmas fabrics. 
one of the reasons I came today is because these are some of my favorite pants and I wanted to get them in some different fabrics. So I actually brought them in today and I'm going to have them make them in some different fabrics. I love the wide length and they're just super comfy. The issue with coming to these places is every time I come here, I end up looking at the fabrics again and looking at the designs again and wanting to come back again and again. Honestly, it's a little bit of an addiction and it's probably a good thing that I am leaving. We found the baby silk and I think it's our new obsession. These colors are so pretty. We just left the suit tailor location and are going to go back and get our pearl necklaces that we have just gotten shortened a little bit. And now back to Gold City one more time to pick up our final pieces. The piece that I just picked up is this really gorgeous natural pearl necklace with 21 karat gold. And then I got this chain as well as this customized gold bar with the chain. And this is my last time here because I cannot spend any more money here. I love it here and it's definitely becoming a very expensive addiction. Katie is going to get a matching pearl and gold necklace as well. She was the one that spotted the bracelet first and then I found the necklace, but um, we have a problem. Katie needs to come back here and I'll probably come back, but I might not allow myself into the store again. Another expensive yet successful trip to Gold City. And our last stop for our morning souk adventure is our favorite traditional Bahraini cafe. Woo! Haji's Cafe. Hi everyone. Hi, we had to come back to try your lunch. Yes, you're most welcome at Haji Cafe. Hope you will like the lunch then. Katie just bought the most expensive mask holder in the world. 18 karat gold mask holder right there. <laughs> I think it's it because works. you put your earrings on when you were wearing your mask. I think so. Oh my god, you're gonna keep them on? <laughs> I don't I see why not. I guess it's cleaner than the table. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh, so you got the chicken biryani. Yeah. I got the, what did I get? I got, did I get chicken biryani too? I thought you got Oh, I got chicken curry. They look the same. Yeah. And oh. then we have some fresh lemons, fresh onions. What do you think, Katie? One of the best parts about eating here at Haji's Cafe is the fresh bread. And we ordered some of my favorite hummus and got some more bread. And another delicious meal at Haji's. Would you rather come for lunch or breakfast if you had to recommend one? Uh, breakfast just because I love the dipping sauce and the beans. That's the only reason why. I think I would come for lunch. I really liked the hummus and the rice. And I don't know, I'm more of a lunch person, so it might just be personal preference. So I think you could either come for breakfast or lunch and you can't go wrong. We'll have to come for dinner sometimes. So there's this TikTok that Katie and I are obsessed with. It's an Arabic version of Santa Baby. We'll have to insert it here, but we just keep singing it over and over again. Santa Baby. <laughs> Santa Habibi, bring for me a Lamborghini Or three, three please, or maybe oil factory Santa Habibi, so yalla down the chimney tonight bom, 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 bom. Santa Habibi, tell me a Khalifa to the me bom, 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 bom. I've been a real good wallet Santa Habibi, inshallah she will text me tonight Yes, give me a text me back, yes, come on. So don't make me do wait too much time. time. I kept cookies for you and Suleimani with lime. lime. I promise I'll be a good shabab. Pop. All I want to do is just sit on your lap. lap. 
Fanta Habibi, a fountain of unlimited hummus. And I will give you a boost, Santa Habibi. So yalla bring the hobbies tonight. Yalla Habibi Santa, bring hobbies please. And I'm keeping my change from Haji's out because I need to pay for my parking tickets. We still only have two parking tickets. 200 fills. Which is probably about a dollar? Less. Less, like 50 Way cents. Less. It's like 50 cents. And our man's going to help us come pay it. All right. I think we need to put, like, what is this? This guy is treating us like princesses. We get princess parking and he's getting us one last wipe down. This is what I need in a boyfriend. All star. Bye! I just dropped Katie off where she's staying here in Bahrain Bay and I decided to walk around a little bit because it is so nice out. It's always fun to walk around Bahrain Bay because there are so many cool buildings. This definitely seems like a fun way to spend your Christmas Eve. Now I'm going to head to the other side of Bahrain Bay and stop by the avenues to pick up a few things. You can actually see the other side of Bahrain Bay from here. This is the Four Seasons, a very iconic building here in Bahrain. And the Avenues Mall is right there. That's just the corner. The Wyndham Grand is all decked out for Christmas. Look at this awesome gingerbread house, accompanied by these little ones. And here we are on the other side of Bahrain Bay. We're on a patio just outside the Avenues Mall. And oh my gosh, it is just so gorgeous today. I know I've already said that, but it's true. The Four Seasons has such a nice beach. I just picked up a couple basics here. I got what I needed, but I just want to show you guys how beautiful this mall is. We are right in the middle of the food court area and everything is all decorated for the holidays. But look at this dome, it's stunning. Now that the causeway has been open for maybe three fourths of a year, it's super easy to drive around the GCC. So it's cool to see all the different types of license plates. So you have a Kuwaiti license plate here, a Bahraini license plate there, and then this one right over here is actually from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here are a bunch more KSA plates. You'll see a lot of people uh, from Saudi Arabia coming to Bahrain on the weekends. It's a very easy drive and they like to come here to have some fun. I just got home. I'm looking a little gross, but I'm going to work out, chill out, and then Katie's going to come over a little later. I'll see you then. There she is. Hello. So Katie and I are spending tonight working on our goal planners, and they look like this. These are the ones I got them on Amazon. I used it for 2021, and this is my 2022 one, and I gave Katie one too. I'm so excited. With that, I am going to call it an evening, and I will see you tomorrow on Christmas Day. Last year I thought about everyone and Merry Christmas I am going to start my day this morning by stopping by the Bahraini farmers market yesterday I saw on Instagram the Instagram account is local Bahrain that the farmers market in Budaya has opened again for the first time since COVID-19 and since I plan on having some friends over for dinner tonight I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to get some fresh food for dinner Every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday My favorite holiday It means so much more than words can say And I claim Christmas is a magic day Sometimes I tend to forget
I'm very impressed with this farmer's market. Everything is very well priced, going for one to two BD per kilogram. Everything is very well organized. All the booths have the farms or shops name at the top. They have numbers and it's all clean and very orderly. There's also different sections that you can go to. So there's a vegetable and fruit section. There's a little restaurant section where you can get snacks and food made for you. There's also a section that has plants. So you can buy potted plants as well as flowers if that's something you're looking for. I feel so spoiled being out here today because the weather is phenomenal. I feel like it would be a little bit of a different experience if it's really hot, but this is the perfect Christmas morning activity. This farmer's market is also located in the Budea Botanical Gardens, which is very beautiful in itself. If you're wondering why everyone's wearing a mask right now, Bahrain made it a next condition. I don't really remember what it's actually called, but it's the next COVID alert posture just due to everyone traveling for the holidays and wanting to be more cautious. Along with the mask wearing, people will check for something called a green shield everywhere you go. It just verifies that you're vaccinated. Bahrain has been using the green shield for quite a few months now. It's a kingdom, so they can really do whatever the king wants uh, for the well-being of the Bahraini people. Overall, it's extremely impressive how well Bahrain has controlled their COVID outbreaks. It's a very small population and they take a lot of pride in the low number of COVID cases. The farmer's market was very successful. I got about $20 worth of stuff, mostly salad and vegetables, but I think the best thing I got was a kilogram of raspberries. Next, I'm going to head to my local supermarket, Lulu's, pick up a few things that I need for tonight's dinner, and then head home to start prepping everything. Lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside. spent the majority of this afternoon cutting up all those beautiful vegetables that I just got at the farmer's market today. They were very fresh, they were clean, and I'm very excited to eat them throughout this week. One of the things that I picked up at the farmer's market today were these berries. And when I bought them, I bought a whole kilogram of them. I thought they were blackberries, but I don't think they are. They're a little more tart than blackberries and only about a third of them were actually ripe. So I separated the ripe ones from the non-ripe ones, cleaned them off, and I am going to try to make a mousse out of them. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace. And no 
So it's the next morning and I forgot to film an outro. I had some friends stop over for dinner so we could enjoy Christmas together here in Bahrain. The mousse with the mystery berry, potentially a Bahraini blackberry turned out great. I had one clip of it um, and it didn't look as ap appetizing, but I forgot to film what it looks like when it was all nice and I put some berries on top. I would definitely recommend, obviously it just Pretty much tasted like sugar and whipped cream with a berry um, taste for a little bit of the bitter sour factor in the whole recipe but I would definitely recommend I will link something to the recipe in the description bar below thank you so much for watching I hope you liked this video and how I celebrate Christmas in an Arabic speaking Muslim majority country <laughs> I will see you next time make sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next. Bye.